Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the user feature and power copy option in Ketia V5. Both of these two options help the users, the Ketia V5 users to simplify certain certain feature use, usage. For example, if you are uh, doing particular feature like if you're doing some two three features on one particular object and you keep repeating those three features on uh, over and over on many objects you do have to do it again and again so what you do in power copy or user feature is you record those those patterns of uh, functions and you keep uh, applying that on different objects and everything keep coming automatically so let's see how we can do that and this is the fourth part of the tutorial series on it and uh, in my previous tutorial I have explained you that uh, how the power copy works and how it creates these two these two joins automatically and I have told you that uh, the power copy do create but it do make the make the uh, specification tree a little big so let me delete the output from power copy so you don't have to worry about that and let's now try the user feature so go to insert and go for knowledge templates and user feature do the same step like the power copy so before doing that just insert another geometric set with user feature feature output so we do have another another geometric set now go to insert and insert user feature and select the join here and remove all the other things except extract 13 like done before and click on OK now use make sure that this is define and work object and go for knowledge templates user feature and go for instantiation and what you could do exactly right now is to select this particular extract and go for repeat click on OK and select OK select OK select OK and if you open this you can see the output from user feature select OK and you you can repeat this step again and again to form the patterns so when you're doing this note that if you have done the power copy for doing this the the tree would have been really big so I'm just repeating the steps over and over again to create the cage so when you're doing this also note that you're saving a lot of time by doing this so this pattern is created now and we have a particular cage like object here now let me just avoid the repeat and click OK and we have the roll cage here OK now go for the part design workbench
and use the close surface command to close all of them. Insert operation close surface. So you could insert another geometric set for close surface output and make it invert object and now go for insert surface base feature close surface make sure that this is selected as invert object and then go for surface base feature and close surface and now one by one you can select firstly select the join click OK again go for surface base feature close surface select this 1.1 1.2 etc one point three one point four one point five make sure you don't miss any of them seven eight nine Ten, eleven. This is actually sufficient, but I'm still doing it so that the user knows that none of these outputs really have a problem. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 21 22 23 all right now you can close you can hide them all right you can select these alright now hide this particular join what you can see it's first join and we do have the roll cage one more thing is to hide the 24 extracts and we have the roll cage here and that's it so the main thing which I wanted to explain I have already explained when I was uh, almost half away with this particular tutorial that is uh, the user feature and the application of user feature so with this particular tutorial series the main thing which I wanted to convey to my users is the user feature how to use the user feature command and how to use the power copy command and I hope you I have delivered both of them uh, and uh, if you have any doubts on that please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any tutorial and on one particular part please make sure that you comment on that particular tutorial and I'll be seeing that uh, and I'll be uh, getting in touch with you on what you could be doing to resolve it 
and if you have any uh, CAD related projects or if you have any CAD queries you can write to me at katia.pro.user at gmail.com I hope you guys are enjoying my tutorials and uh, stay tuned I want all of your uh, what to say I want uh, all of your support to uh, make more and more tutorials like this thank you so much and stay tuned